All right, here we have the lovely order of operations and complex fractions. So hopefully this is a review, at least a little, but we're still gonna go into it because this will perturb and perplex adults, and grandparent age, boomers, you know, everybody has a problem or two where they think they know what they're doing and they don't. And don't give them flack about it because sometimes their math teachers lied to them. I had a math teacher be like, you do all the multiplication and then you do all the division and that's wrong. So I'm just gonna start out with that. So this is written in a better way. So yes, it's PEMDAS, please excuse my dear aunt Sally. But when I write PEMDAS, I write it a little bit different. It gets those underlines. The underlines mean multiplication and division are considered the same order of operation, the same level. So those both happen. In fact, division is just the undo of multiplication, just like subtraction is the undo of addition. Really, it's a form of multiplication or a form of addition. Subtraction is just adding the opposite of the number. So that's why it's the same order as addition. And that's why you do them from left to right. All right, now grouping symbols can take a couple of forms. So the parentheses and the brackets are pretty normal. There's also the absolute value symbols there, the two straight lines. Those act as a grouping symbol as well. But they also have the extra thing of applying absolute value. Exponents also include radicals. So some people will actually squeeze a little R in here. So it's permdas. But those radicals are considered the same order as exponents. Radicals are, in fact, fraction exponents. Yes, I know. That's one of those. Why Why would you do that? Why You know, exponents were just fine. And then you went and put fractions. The problem is that's how you undo exponents. All right. And then we have this crazy mess. We can do this. At the very least, we just have to get used to typing it in a calculator. Because some of these crunching them by hand is just ridiculous. Now, when would you use this? I don't know. Maybe to win a bet in a bar at some point. All right, so this negative outside, negative inside BS. This one happens a lot and a lot of people make mistakes on it. So the negative on the outside is effectively, I'll zoom in here since my handwriting's so huge, negative one times negative three tenths raised to the fourth power. So before it looked just like subtraction hanging out there. I don't like doing that one in part because if you're looking at this on a tiny screen, those minuses can almost blend together. So just be on the look for this. That's why I try to make my minuses different from my negative signs, like they're middle of the line versus higher up. All right, so that means that's gonna happen on the multiplication step. Then up here, the, or over here, the negative three tenths raised to the fourth power. So inside we have negative three over 10. That is technically a division. We could divide that and get the decimal, but we can also think of it as a number itself. So negative three tenths as a number raised to the fourth power is negative three tenths multiplied by itself four times. So we are gonna have a negative times a negative I'll go ahead and write it out. So that negative one is gonna carry down. And then I'm gonna use parentheses. So we have negative three tenths. And I'm gonna be lazy. Why you gotta do that computer? It didn't need to be that big. Never mind, I'm not going to be lazy. If I was a little bit more computer savvy, I could have done that. All right. So, our to the fourth power, negative times negative is positive. 
Another negative times negative is positive. So this raised to an even power becomes positive. And then the negative one on the outside is going to flip it back to negative. The big thing here is outside inside parentheses, you do not interact until all the operations on the parentheses have been taken care of. So that minus outside minus inside does not interact because we have to deal with the fourth power first. Now doing this multiplication, three times three is nine. The other one is nine, so that's 81, but it's negative 81 over four tens is a one with four zeros. So negative 81 10 thousandths, which actually does crunch to a nice decimal. All right, so that's one of the first big things to trip you up. Now, the kind of flip side of that is not every time you have a minus inside the parentheses with an exponent is the minus going to go away. So here, we're going to crunch the inside fractions together first, but then we're going to have three negative numbers being multiplied. Two of them will become positive, but then the third one will flip it back to negative. All right, but let's deal with that inside first. So. 12 over 25 times 15 over 16. There's a bunch of stuff that can cancel in there. So in the interest of it not looking so hairy, I am going to write out some of these numbers. So 25 is five times five and 15 is five times three. Then the 12 on top is four times three. And the 16 on the bottom we can write as four times four. Now I know we could write it as a bunch of twos, but I'm going with the four because we had a four up top from the 12. All right, so one on the bottom, one on the top, doesn't matter which top or bottom as long as you got multiplication in between. So the two threes are both on the top, they do not cancel. But this five can cancel one of the fives down here. So we are left with a negative 9 20ths raised to the third power. Mm. So that gives us a negative 9 multiplied 3 times. It's 9 squared is 81, so 3 is 729 because I'm a geek and I know this. I would not expect you guys to have that memorized. It is totally legit to do a calculator, or if you don't have one, it is totally legit to say, that's my answer. And if I had the internet, Google would tell me what it is because it would. So the 20 cubed on the bottom, 20 times 20 is 400. And then times another 20 is gonna be 8,000. There's my weird triple zero. And then three and four. This is the moment in time where you say, why? Why did you do this? I did not do this. Okay, video's messing up, so I'm gonna pause it and start a new one. <laughs> 